There might still be time to save the Republic, but we have to decide we want freedom. I just love God. My whole life has been so good. There's been a lot of trials and tribulations, but all of it's made me stronger. And I just want to experience this journey with you. I want our children to grow up together and their children and their children to have a future that goes to the stars and beyond. And we can do this. I just want to win. I want humanity to succeed. And I'm so sick of people that don't like humanity. The John P. Holdrens and the Barack Obamas of the world who then sit around talking about how much they love humanity when I know for a fact in their own writings they disdain the general public. I get mad at the general public for letting the establishment, a bunch of pointy-head bureaucrats on MSNBC and the Washington Post to go, Obamacare doesn't have death panels. Obamacare doesn't raise your prices. You get to keep your doctor. Nye, nye, nye. Don't listen to conspiracy theorists and senators and congressmen and women in this show and the Drudge Report and World Net Daily and everybody else is like, here's the subsections of the bill for two years. Here's where they raise your taxes. Here's the penalties. Here's where the IRS will garnish your wages or, 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 or take your tax refund. And they would go, they're just racist that say that and lie about our black president. These people want to start a civil war, man, and they're going to false flag and blame the patriots. Any idiot can see that's their next move. And it makes me so angry. People say, man, why do you get so upset? It's just the freedom. Well, it might be that I'm pretty much at the top of the pyramid when it comes to fighting these people. I'm, I'm you know, I'm kind of like not the head of the dog, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like an eyeball or maybe a tooth. I mean, I'm up at the front. I'm walking point here. And let me tell you, it ain't fun having these criminals and these jackals circling around. And so I want to beat them. I want to politically fight them. I want to get them out of the way. It's like walking down an alleyway when you're walking home from school and three bullies are there five, four or five years older than you collectively. You know, they're all a couple years older than you, and they're about to beat the daylights out of you. You just go, you know what? I'm not running, and I'm not looking for this fight, but you want one? You know what? I'm just going to pick up a brick and break it over your head. How's that sound politically, huh? You want to get mean with me? I'm going to slam your head up against the wall. I'm going to gouge your eyeballs out. You want to get in a fight, huh? You New World Order people want to push it? You want to talk about Malcolm X stuff like you're trying to stir people up into a revolution? What is your major problem? You've been picking on the Iraqis and people. You've been picking on the Russians and picking on the Ukrainians and playing games so long. You think you can really start a fight with what's left of America? Even though America is brainwashed, brain damaged, toxified, and stunned, the stunned spirit of America that's still there will annihilate you, and you know it. So I get wound up because I, it's fight and flight, and there's nowhere to run. I'm like a raccoon in the garage that somebody's about to kill, man. I don't have a choice. I'm going to fight. And I'm going to fight in the info war because they don't want me to. That's a more effective form of warfare. Well, you know what you're seeing? Organic, primitive resistance. And that's what can save us, the will. I'm dealing with Fukushima. I'm dealing with cancer viruses and the vaccines. I'm dealing with chemical weapon attacks on the public. And it's not because I'm some hero. This is a normal response. In fact, my forebears would have already organized at the legislative level, and they would already have a physical war going on right now, okay? And that was because they were businessmen, merchants, but also been in the average male by the age of 35 in 1776 had been in three guerrilla wars. That's another reason the British were in big trouble. Oh, they thought some of their soldiers had maybe been in one war? Had such a high turnover rate? We're about to find people that in three wars? in the space of 15 years? So, I mean, I'm nobody. I mean, our forebears would be running around killing people right now, okay? They wouldn't be usurped. They wouldn't be enslaved. They wouldn't be run over by a bunch of slick-talking underwoods. They'd strangle them. And not because they weren't as manipulative as Underwood, but because they were honorable and they were men who could do things out in the open and who had people follow them because they were strong and virtuous, not piles of manipulative, lying crap. Oh, excuse me. I just, all I hear men in grocery stores, in restaurants, at swimming pools, at the gym, at, at, at church, in, everywhere, they just want to talk to me about stuff on record with the Olympic Committee, 1914, and this French prince 
that developed it with the Germans to manipulate the public into not being involved in real issues. I mean, I know. I've read the books written by Edward Bernays. I've read the papers written by the founder of the Olympic Committee. I have read the statements by Hitler on sports. I know it's to manipulate men where men sit around in fantasy football. I mean, you might as well game the stock market. You might as well have fun. Uh, it's just these aren't men. These aren't men. These are the type of men who will go work their arms out all day so they think they're big, who will just do the symbol of being manly and will say something smart to you or try to intimidate you. And the minute you turn to them and go, let's go right now. Just, just touch me and I'm going to break your neck. They go, whoa, dude. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought you wanted to act tough, man. I thought you wanted to kill me. I thought you were strong. No, you're not a man. You're the fake image of one. You don't build anything. You're not even alive. Your women and children don't belong to you. They belong to the globalists who conquered you. I don't want to be conquered. I don't want to have my destiny controlled. I don't want my children brainwashed. I don't want to be a slave and that humanity's done and we're being phased out. No! You've got to fight them! These people deal and kidnap kids. These people put fluoride in your water to brain damage you and your family and in the vaccines. These people are coming for everybody. I'm not going to wait around to be soft killed. I'm not going to wait around and watch my family die around me. I'm going to die fighting in the info war against these people. This is the point that we're now coming down to. And folks, you're going to have decisions put right in front of you as the tyranny gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And you're going to have to decide whether you're going to go with the political correctness, which is tyranny, and go with the end of freedom and go with totalitarianism and its control of language, or whether you're going to decide to start fighting. Everybody wants to play it safe and go along with the system. You can't play it safe when your house is on fire. You can't negotiate with it. You traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show. Because because there's a war on for your mind. Oh, I, will, oh, I wish we could go back to the days. I'm telling you, of just getting my satisfaction out in the street. You pick a sword or something else, you're going out in the street. I'm not kidding, you cowardly scum.